everybody, I'm Adrienne from Breathless Getaways and I'm happy to share this list with you because this was very helpful for me to decide which island I'm gonna to travel to next. Um, this top 10 list is the safest Caribbean islands that you can travel to within the next couple of months uh, with the least amount of COVID cases. So when I say safest, I mean these islands as of right now are COVID free or have under 30 COVID cases. Uh, in the video, I'm gonna share these islands with you. I will let you know how many cases they had in total, how many deaths they had, and how many recoveries or current cases that they have right now. Um, I found this to be really helpful because obviously people are afraid to travel. I have cabin fever. I wanna get out, I'm sure you do too. I wanna to just lay on an island and enjoy. Life is too short, so we want to travel safely. You want to wear your mask, of course, social distance. You want to wash your hands, wash your face. Just travel safely. These islands are not playing. I'll let you know right now. There are protocols that you'll need to take uh, before you board the plane. So I believe some uh, countries have it where three days before you board, you need to take a COVID test and you need to test negative. Um, some also make you take another test when you arrive into the country. So once you get off that plane, there will be people there making sure you are cleaning your hands. They'll have hand sanitizing stations um, before you sit. I believe they will put plastic on the chairs, spray it down with hand sanitizer. Like they have really strict pro protocols in place to ensure safety for their residents and of course for you as well. Um, and before you leave some of the airports, you will be required to take a test. If you test positive, you will have to be self-quarantined for 14 days. So just travel safely. I hope this list is helpful for you. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to send me an email at adrian at breathlessgetaways.com. You may also visit our website for some travel inspiration. You may not be ready to travel to an island right now, but maybe you want to do a road trip and I'm here to help you book that. All the data in this video is as of June 30th. So by the time you watch this video, the data may have changed. Number 10 is Turks and Caicos with a total of 41 cases, 28 are active and two deaths. Open to tourists July 22nd. Number nine is Curacao, 23 cases, 19 recoveries and one death opening is pending number eight is grenada 23 cases 23 recoveries zero deaths and there are no active covid cases reopening july 1st number seven is saint lucia who reopened on june 4. they had 19 cases 18 recoveries and zero deaths Number six is Dominica with 18 cases, 18 recoveries, and zero deaths. They are COVID free and no reopening date as of yet. Number five is St. Kitts and Nevis with 15 cases, 15 recoveries, and zero deaths. And they are COVID free and still working on an opening date. Number four is the British Virgin Islands with a total of eight cases, seven recoveries and one death and is set to open september 1st number three is bonaire reopening on july 1st they had seven cases seven recoveries zero deaths and are covid free number two is saint bart they reopened june 22nd they had six cases six recoveries zero deaths and are covid free and number one is Anguilla, reopening July 14th. They had three cases, three recoveries, zero deaths, and are COVID free. If you like this video and want to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel and contact me when you're ready to book.